日本原子力産業協会がお届けする j i f t v 今月は動き始めたベトナムの原子力発電導入計画について第43回原産年次大会の講演からダイジェストでお送りします。Uh, information about the roadmap of、uh, nuclear power program in Vietnam in,、uh, from 1996 to 2010,、uh, 2002, it is a general、uh, study in Vietnam. And from、uh, 2002 to 2009, it is a, a pre feasibility study. And、uh, as you may know, that、uh, National Assembly already. Approve our study、uh, by uh, November uh, last year. And from 19,、uh, 2009 to 2020, it is a project、uh, implementation. And、uh, it is、uh, divided into two uh, uh, stages. The first one、uh, from, 2002 to 2000, uh, from 2009 to 2014, it is a feasibility study you know, carried out. And from 2014 to 2020, it is、uh, construction,、uh, erection, and operation. And at the same time, we carried out you know, some、uh, very important issues like uh, uh, nuclear regulations, uh, re- uh, IND, and、uh, manpower development. And、uh, after that, you know, after the year 2020, 2025, and 2030, it is、uh, the next project. In Vietnam. And we selected two sites.、Uh, the first site, name is Phuc Xi, and the second is Vinh Hai.、Uh, all of them located in Ninh Thuận province. And、uh, the first nuclear power plant in Vietnam, the investment owner will be、uh, electricity of Vietnam. The capacity is、uh, four units and、uh, 1,000 megawatt each. And site in Ninh Thuận province. Ninh Thuận one, as I show you that, you know, two units. And Ninh Thuận two in Vinh Hai, two units. And technologies、uh, for the first nuclear power plant in Vietnam is advanced and proven. It's a light water reactor. And cooling water by sea water and fuel imported. And the time put into operation by 2020, 2021. And for the next is 2021 to 2022. Okay. Um, uh, pre- uh, now, I'd like to produce,、uh, inform you some information about the, our pre feasibility study preparation.、Uh, pre efforts, you know, of need for number one,、uh, conduct, conducted by our Institute of Energy. And after some revised version and updated, it was submitted to the National Operation、uh, Committee. And it was approved by our National Assembly in November last year. Other studies site planning for Ninh Thuận 1, Ninh Thuận 2, okay, and site survey for national nuclear power plants, and long term plan for nuclear power development up to 2030. Further work after pre feasibility study, update the master plan for implementing of Ninh Thuận 1. Uh, consulting service for FS report and site report should be carried out as soon as possible. And establish of the propaganda for nuclear power project in accordance with National Assembly resolution. And manpower development plan should be completed and get the approval by authorities. And legislation framework should be completed and issues the necessary legal document for implementation of. Nuclear power plant in Vietnam. JIFTV では講演を行ったファムカイントアン氏にインタビューを行いました。As I said to you that you know, Japan has very、uh, vast experience in the nuclear power development, and、uh, we have very good、uh, you know, relation and cooperation with、uh, Japanese uh, uh, companies or organizations in.、Uh, Uh, you know, in designing, in studying the nuclear power development、uh, and、uh, training on、uh, the human resource development for Vietnam. And we do hope that you know, the uh, company of uh, Japan uh, could be、uh, involved in the development of the nuclear power plant in Vietnam. 
and we are looking forward to uh, collaborate with them as you uh, as they you know uh, provide us their uh, support uh, you know uh, the Japanese companies supported us you know in uh, preparation the pre feasibility study uh, and the human resources uh, development for Vietnam and today Mr. Amano who is a director general saying that you know uh, Japan you know uh, share experience and uh, assist the uh, newcomer uh, for the, the country to develop the nuclear power plant and we look forward you know, to uh, uh, collaborate uh, to continue collaborate with the Japanese uh, company organizations in uh, nuclear power development in Vietnam. ベトナムの原子力発電所建設計画が具体化する中5月27日から29日にかけて首都ハノイで国際原子力展示会が開催されましたこの展示会は2年に一度開催されており4回目となる今回も日本の原子力産業界が共同でブースを出展ニントアン省における建設計画での採用を目指し我が国の原子力発電の安全性などを積極的にアピールしましまた原子力発電導入に向けて本格的に動き出したベトナムその動向はこれからしばらくの間原子力関係者の注目を集めることでしょう。